Hello everyone and welcome to the forest. This is Matt from Indefensive Plants and we're out here in early March just looking to see what we can find. Botanizers like us get a little thirsty to see some cool plants anytime the weather starts to improve and I'm sure if we look hard enough we'll see some of the hardiest members of the spring ephemeral group. So come on, let's go see what we can find. So I'm standing here next to one of the earliest spring wildflowers and one I look forward to seeing ever since I moved out here to the Midwest. This is the Harbinger of Spring and it is a gorgeous little member of the carrot family. Now it may seem like a weird time to be throwing up your flowers, but in doing so it's able to beat the competition. There's really not much else out here for pollinators to find and despite the cold temperatures there are pollinators. In fact right over to my left right now I'm actually watching a carrion fly sopping up a little bit of nectar and grabbing some protein rich pollen from this plant. You have to admire the size of this plant and how hardy it is to be out this time of year. In fact, the umbel of the flowers here, which really it is a carrot, so this is an umbel, is not much bigger than my fingernail. This is such an excellent find, and I can see, looking around, that it's coming up in a lot of different places. Great find. We found ourselves some hepatica. I'm actually kind of shocked it's blooming right now, but everything about this plant is ready to take advantage of spring. It's got these beautiful evergreen leaves that survive through the winter. This gives it a jump start on photosynthesis as soon as the light and the temperature reach that critical point in which it can start gaining instead of losing energy. But these flowers are always the best. And as I think I said in our very first episode, I tend to have more pictures of this plant than any other spring ephemeral simply because of its early blooming time and beauty. It's a member of the buttercup family and these nice dense trichome hairs all over the stem help insulate the buds so that way those deep winter freezes and even some of those deep spring freezes don't destroy them. In a few more weeks this will already have finished blooming. It will set seed and its tiny seeds have fake elizomes, these tiny little structures on them that attract ants. Although unlike other spring ephemerals they're fake and therefore they're just tricking the ants into dispersing their seeds without giving anything in return. It's an interesting lifestyle. Such a charming little plant. Well everyone, we succeeded in finding at least a couple of plants out and about today. I think the nights are going to have to get a little bit warmer before we start to see any real spring ephemeral activity. But that's what's exciting. In the meantime, let us know down in the comments what are some of your favorite spring wildflowers? What are you seeing in your neck of the woods? And also while you're down there, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We've got a lot of great botanical adventures just over the horizon, so don't forget to stay tuned. Until next time, this is Matt signing out.